Hey what's up guys my name is Andesh Prasad I am a chartered accountant and welcome to my channel This video is about showing a step by step process of how to apply a provisional license in the UK Having a provisional license in the UK is very important Primarily it gives you access or it allows you to learn your driving to get a permanent license and the secondary purpose of your provisional license is to have a proof of your ID You aren't supposed to carry your BRP card or your passport every time with you So the provisional license solves this problem and it's easy and less costly to get replaced in case you lose it although the process is not that difficult but when i was applying for it i couldn't see any guidance where everything is explained in just one video so i just decided to make a video myself for you guys so here i am so let's get started all right so there are total 5 events involved when you apply for the license so today i'll talk about a person who doesn't have a uk passport and he's applying online So I've given you a link in the description below. When you click that, this page will appear. Have you been issued with a Great Britain provisional license before? We select no. Then do you have a UK passport? No. So when you select no to both of the questions, it will redirect you to an old portal where you can apply for the provisional license. So you simply click apply using old online service to access that portal. And the link to the old portal is also given in the description below. So when you go to the old portal, you'll see something like this. You just mention your title. Your f the other title is not required. You just put your phone name, which is your first name, then your second name, surname, then gender, date of birth, and country of birth, and then you select next. Then it asks you for your <coughs> address and postal code. When you put that and select next, it automatically gives you the address and asks you to confirm this address. Then in the next page, it asks you how long have you been in that address. So when you are applying for the provisional license, you are supposed to mention your living address for past three years. Then after that, it asks you for telephone, which is not required. You can just provide your birth surname, which is your second name, then mother's maiden name, and then place of birth. And when you select next, it asks you for national insurance number. And if you have a BRP card, it is usually mentioned and on back of your BRP. Once you select next, it will redirect you to a payment uh, page where you have to pay thirty-four pounds, and then you will receive a confirmation email along with your application reference number in that email. Once you get that reference number, uh, there's a link in the description below where you can track your application. You go there, you just put your application reference number, your surname and postal code, and then select next. And when you select next, it will show you something like transaction date, transaction type. then transaction status reference number and then your name this transaction status is very important you will get two type of status first status is in progress awaiting application return form and then second status is transaction completed no license issued if your license is rejected or transaction completed license issued then within 2 days you will receive a physical application form which you have to fill and along with that you will receive a pre addressed envelope in which you have to put the application form along with some supporting documents original documents and then you have to post it so let's have a look at this application form first of all make sure you read this document full for your understanding and to ensure that you're not missing anything now the first section is proof of identity which contains part a and part b part a is for uk passport holders which is not applicable for expats so you just simply have to ignore this part b is for everyone else for part b you have to provide all the original documents which are applicable to you the applicability criteria is mentioned on back of the form you can read it but let me summarize it for you if you are a brp holder you just need to submit brp card you cannot simply submit your passport it won't work and when you are submitting your brp card you don't need to submit your passport along with it just brp card is required so you will select the second last option which says brp card which is applicable to an expat and then in the box below you will put the brp reference number which is mentioned on top right corner of your brp card now section 2 is to verify your photo which you send along with the form now that is generally not required especially in case of brp you don't need to fill anything in that section or you don't need to have any signature or any verification of your photo if you are an expat sending brp card Again the eligibility criteria or the requirements are mentioned on back of the form you can read that and ensure that you are doing the right thing. Then the section 3 is just to put a current date the date when you are filling the form and then the signature in the green box below. 
then you have to paste your picture by peeling off that area and pasting your picture like this now once your form is filled and ready to be posted you bring your form your original prp card and pre-addressed envelope to your nearest postal office you have two options for posting either you use free of course pre-dated envelope which comes along with the form or you upgrade to a premium service where you have to pay 13 to 14 pound and you will get uh, a tracking number as well as same day delivery i chosen the premium version because it's a really pain in the ass to replace your brp card in case it gets lost and if you go to the internet you will find that people there are people who have complained about their brp card being lost during the process so here is how it looks like so the delivery guy will stick your brp card with a paper clip like this and place it then you make sure you get the receipt which contains two tracking numbers if you are going for the provi uh, the premium version the one tracking number will be for sending the documents and the other one will be for receiving the documents well done with that you have done your part now you have to wait for getting your documents back and your issued provisional license these two things will be coming separately within next seven to eight days of submitting your application form via post you will receive your original documents make sure you or someone else is present at home when the delivery is due because the delivery guy will not simply drop it at in your mailbox if you miss the delivery by any chance the delivery guys will leave a card for you which looks like this now you have two options either reschedule your delivery using the instructions mentioned on the card or otherwise go to that specified location and collect your original document if you are collecting your document on your own make sure you bring some kind of proof of id in this case it would be a passport so within seven to eight days of you submitting your documents you'll receive back the documents and then within next two days you will be issued your provisional license this license will come to your place and there's no requirement for someone to collect that they can just simply drop it in your mailbox the license will come in this envelope and will come up with a letter and a card of you which will be your provisional license now let's summarize the timeline and the costs involved at day zero you will fill the online application form and make the payment of 34 pounds within the next two days you will receive the physical application form which you have to fill and insert your drp card and paste your passport size photo and then post it and let's say you take one day in doing so on day four you will be posting this physical form at this point you would have incurred a cost of four to five pounds for your pictures and an optional cost of 13 to 14 pounds from then it will then take seven to eight days for you to get back your original documents and then two more days to get your provisional license so that's it guys i hope you find this video useful if i was able to provide any value to you then you can thank me by subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button and i will see you in the next video take care